on YouTube, friends and family. Welcome to the weekend. Man, it is a perfectly still day this morning. And there is not even the hint of a cloud in the sky. It's gonna be a beautiful weekend, I can tell. I hope you have something fun planned for this weekend. I know we're going out to dinner at a friend's house tonight with the kids. And I have to do property monitoring this weekend. I volunteer for a local land trust to take a walk once a year around the property that has an easement on it to make sure that there's been no adverse um, effects that have occurred either naturally or from the easement um, seller, you know. Do you know what an easement is? For instance, say I have a beautiful piece of land that has some amazing natural characteristics and I want to preserve those natural characteristics into the future even after I sell my land. I sell the development rights to the land to a land trust. The land trust pays me a bunch of money and then they own the rights to the to any development that happens on that property. So the idea from a land trust perspective is that they will not develop it at all. So they own the rights to develop it and therefore it never gets developed. Somebody can still own the land and use the land and walk on the land and you know do limited things with the land, but for the most part, the land trust controls what happens on that land. So I go once a year to monitor a property here in Whitefield um, to make sure that the um, terms of the land of the easement agreement are being upheld. So that'll be a long walk in the woods, basically, and I'm looking forward to that. I'm either going to do that this morning or tomorrow. I haven't figured it out yet. Anyway, thanks for coming with me on my day, and uh, I'll see you in a few. Got my GoPro back. I sent it out, oh, I don't know, about a week ago, and boom, they fixed it, turned it around. It is all operational now. I'm so excited to have it back. Let's do some firewood. Ducks get so excited when they get clean water. It's so fun to watch. Duck TV, never a dull moment. I have a friend and neighbor that was a challenged one. He's uh, another guy said, I bet you can't split wood faster than a hydraulic wood splitter can. And Jeff said, oh yeah, I've got this technique and I can beat any wood splitter at all. So what he does is he stacks up all his rounds like this, 
puts a couple ratchet straps around it to hold it there. Because, you know, when you split wood, a lot of the time uh, required is to bring the split pieces back so you can split them again. So his theory was you ratchet strap them together and then right on the ground and then you just split, 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 split. So this is totally an experiment. I've never done this before, but I'm going to test his theory on, on how fast it is and you get to see it too. All right, you ready? I would do a time lapse, but he says that it's so fast that uh, my guess is a time lapse it would just go by so quickly. So I'm hopeful that this is gonna work. Let's see. Oh, all right, I'm quickly learning that part of the advantage of splitting them piece by piece is that you get a break in between. Whew. This is going quickly though. Halfway there, it's been about two minutes. Almost there. Alright, that's it. Let's see how I did. I say it works. I would say about 90% of it got split. I'll just go back and do a couple that got missed. Done. Let's see how many minutes are on the clock. That was 12 and a half minutes. Of course, I walked around a little bit, so I would say probably about five minutes of splitting. Jeff, it works. asked me three times in the past 20 hours if I want a haircut. Unprompted. Does that mean I need a haircut? You know, I'm totally immune to all of the haircut world because up until about a year and a half ago, I looked like this. Uh, and part of the reason I grew long hair is so that I wouldn't have to cut it. Part of the reason I grow a beard is so that I don't have to shave. 
I'm inherently not very tuned in to my personal appearance. You know, um, what's the big deal anyway? So maybe I'll get a haircut this weekend, maybe tomorrow, maybe not. We'll see. Feels like it's late at night, but it's only about 5.30. Uh, we are on our way out to a dinner party with some friends. Andrea and Milo have just stepped inside the local supermarket to pick up a few uh, items. And oh, I'm just exhausted. I've been doing a lot of firewood today. Sort of worn me out. Mm -hmm.